Hi, this is Epic IQ and, in this video we will discuss a confusing probability question. At Epic IQ, you can have fun with math and logic puzzles, interview puzzles and brain teasers, which we try to make a bit more visually appealing. If you like edutainment videos, you can support us by pressing the subscribe button. So let us get back to the confusing probability question that we were talking about. I bought a pack of three tennis balls. Now some of the tennis balls in the pack, can be defective. You know that there is 70% chance that none of the balls are defective in a given pack. There is 20% chance that just one of the three balls is defective and finally, there is 10% chance that exactly two balls in the pack are defective. Now the tennis ball can is opaque, so you can't see the balls from the outside. You can't determine if the ball is defective, without taking them out of the can. So you got the can. And you take out the first tennis ball, and to your disappointment, it turns out to be defective. Now, you have to determine, what is the probability that, one more tennis ball is defective in this pack. Let us approach it by saying, we know that at least one of the balls is defective. The probability of box with at least one defective ball is, 10 plus 20, 30%. Now the ball that we took out is defective and there is one more defective ball inside the box. So the box must be one with two defective balls. We know the probability of getting a box with two defective balls is, 10%. So the probability of having a box, with two defective balls, when we know that at least one of the balls is defective is, 10 by 30, that is, 1 by 3. Is this correct? What can be wrong with this approach? You can pause the video here if you want to solve it on your own, else you may continue with the solution. As on this channel, we try to have a visual approach whenever possible, let us try to visualize it. Since 70% of the times there are no defective balls, we draw 7 of these packs with no defect. Each of the column represent, 1 pack of 3 tennis balls. 20% of the packs have 1 defective tennis ball. So we draw two such packs with one defective ball. 10% of the packs have two defective balls, so we draw one of them with two defective ones. Now, when you took the first ball out, you picked a defective ball and as you can see, you can pick it in four ways. Out of these four, just two of the balls are in a pack, where a single pack contains two defective balls. The probability is 2 by 4 that is half. Are we correct? Do you think that 1 by 2 is the right answer? Why is it not 1 by 3 as argued earlier? The answer isn't 1 by 3, because you're more likely to pick a defective ball first, if the tennis ball pack, has two defective balls in it. Let us see that through the traditional approach. Let B be the event, where the first ball we take out, is defective, H1 the event, when the pack has one defective ball, and H2 the event, where the pack has two defective balls. Since there's one defective ball out of three, in the H1 case, probability of B, given H1, is 1 by 3. Likewise, there are two defective balls in the H2 case, so probability of B, given H2, will be 2 by 3. PB, given H1, is 1 by 3, and PB, given H2, is 2 by 3. Now we calculate probability of B, which is the probability, of getting the first ball, as defective from the pack. So, PB will be 1 by 3 multiplied by 20%, that is, 2 by 10, plus 2 by 3, multiplied by 10%. This comes out to be, 4 by 30. So the probability, of getting the first ball as defective, is 4 by 30. Now, we are interested in the probability of H2, given B, that is, the probability of having two defective balls, when we have observed that the first one, is defective. Using Bayes' theorem, P of H2 given B, equals, PB given H2, into probability of H2, divided by probability of B. This is 2 by 3, multiplied to 1 by 10, divided by 4 by 30. This comes out to be 2 by 4 or half. <music> probability can be confusing at times, but we hope that you enjoyed solving this question and, don't forget to subscribe if you like this math video and want us to make more such videos. Thank you for your time and have a good day. Thanks for watching.